Hello, I'm Reese Jones, and welcome to this lucid dream incubation recording. What follows is a lucid dreaming story, influenced by one of my own lucid dreams. It can either be listened to for fun, or with the intent to sow seeds for a lucid dream later on in the night. If you're listening just for fun, then you are, of course, free to put this on at any time during the day or night. However, if you decide to listen with the intent to incubate a lucid dream, then we recommend listening to it either just before getting into bed or whilst falling to sleep. So I'll now give you a moment to decide how you want to proceed. If you decide to put this on whilst you're falling to sleep, then use this time now to prepare for that. Turn off your lights, draw your curtains, get into bed, and do whatever else you need in order to feel fully settled. And when my voice returns in a moment, The lucid dream incubation will begin. You come to, lucid from the offset, in a surreal, microscopic world. It feels as if you've been shrunken down to a pinprick, and, for a while, you don't understand your location any more precisely than that. After some exploration though, and some time to ruminate, A flash of awareness comes to you. You're inside your own DNA. And not in a symbolic sense either. It feels as if you're literally exploring your own DNA. And so, explore you do.
At first, the surroundings are opaque and mysterious, resembling a vast, intricate maze made of twisting strands, darkly shimmering. But as time goes on, things become lighter, both in physical shading and mental shading too. Your field of awareness opens up, then your vision too, floating up and over the DNA strands, hovering like a phantom, nay, a god, looking down at the double helix structure. The strands seem to stretch on endlessly, and you soak it all in, feeling as if you're looking in a mirror. Now, you descend gently back down towards the strands, light as a feather, then landing. You reach out to touch one and feel a surge of energy course through your dream body as you do. The sensation is both intense and relaxing, strong yet soothing. And it's in this moment that the genetic information encoded within your DNA is passed on to you. Each gene telling a unique story, the blueprint of your existence. Each gene whispering to you, quietly revealing its secrets.
As you continue your exploration, you notice that the DNA strands aren't static, as you'd originally suspected, but dynamic instead, constantly shifting and adapting to your thoughts and emotions. And so, you experiment by altering the sequences, rearranging them like pieces of a cosmic puzzle. With a wave of your hand, you watch in awe as the DNA strands reshape themselves, reflecting your creative impulses. You as the conductor. The experience is awe-inspiring, and with it, you gain a profound sense of your place within history, and your ancestors' place across time. You witness the intricate dance of the genes and the beauty of your genetic heritage. All the generations that came before you and all the generations yet to be. The lucid dream takes you on a journey to the very core of your being, and you feel an overwhelming sense of unity with the history told. But then, the dream starts to change, and a new scene begins to emerge. Hmm, what next, you wonder? A Victorian house is forming, 
Perhaps you're entering a memory of one of your ancestors. You can't be sure. But either way, you stay grounded, reminding yourself of where you are and what you're doing as a chapter transition unfolds. Remember, I'm lucid dreaming, you think. The new scene finishes forming, and you find yourself standing before an imposing old Victorian house, beautifully maintained. The house has ornate architecture, towering turrets, and it looms over you like a giant, emanating an aura of both grandeur and mystery. And so, you decide to go inside and explore. Entering, you realize that the interior of the house is just as captivating as the exterior. And now, you find yourself in a grand foyer, with a sweeping staircase adorned with a plush velvet runner. The walls are covered in vintage wallpaper and crystal chandeliers cast a warm, flickering light. You can't help but be drawn in. And so, you follow the call to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the heart of the house.
with each step, you become more and more immersed in the lucid dream. Your senses are in overdrive, sparkling with a clearness that leaves you absolutely stunned. You explore one room, then the next, each one with its own unique charm and character. Currently, you're in a cosy library, filled with shelves of dusty old books. Then you're in a ballroom with a gleaming, polished floor. And finally, as you ascend the staircase at the back of the ballroom, an intricate, stained glass window comes into view. Oh my, I'm in love with this house, you think. I never want this to end. Finally, you find yourself in the center of the house, in the grandest room of them all, with a sparkling treasure on a pedestal, the reward for your intrepid adventuring. You approach it, wondering what it could be. An object of some description? No, no, not that, you realize. It's another gateway instead, another sliver of a DNA strand, and another memory to explore. How intriguing, you think, reaching out to it and entering. dreamer. I pass the reins over to you. Where will your lucid dream take you next? Where will you go and who will you be? Let your imagination roam free.
if you listened to this lucid dreaming story just for fun, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you listened for induction purposes, then I hope this parting message now finds you relaxed and drifting. Your lucid dreaming seeds have been sown. Your mind has been primed. And you are ready for sleep. And so with that, I draw this session to a close. Remember, you are a lucid dreamer. Never forget it. Happy dreaming.